Bruh. Bombay clapped. Bombay clapped. Whew. Okay, there we go. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the William and Mary Tribe series on NCAA Basketball 10. Um, today. Well, no, hold on. Last, last episode. We lost. Yeah, we lost. Sucks. We lost. We were so close to getting to the finals, but not really because we really got blown out by Oakland. So, um, you know, we probably are about where we expect to be. We still beat Maryland and we beat Wichita State, which are two big wins for us. Yeah, we have a key win against Maryland by two. We have a two key losses. Gosh, dang it. To uh, Detroit and Oakland. Yeah, look at that. We got blown up by 20. That's that's bad, but we're ranked by the media. Or 159, so that's good. Nathan Lee actually has the tiniest bit of interest in signing with our school. Doesn't mean he's gonna do it, he's probably not, so it might be time. It might be time to just not mess around with this guy anymore. I'm sorry, bro, but you, there's no chance you're signing with us. Gary Shivers, on the other hand, still doesn't have us in his top schools. Uh, but have we done the head coach visit yet? I don't think we have. I'd like to be able to invite him to a game. I feel like that could seal it. Coach Patrice, location, playing time. It's location, isn't it? Um, with this guy. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the head coach visit. And then we can invite him to a game. And if it, if we, if it comes to it, we'll send the house. And then we'll offer him a scholarship. Hopefully he doesn't sign with, like, Coastal Carolina. Ooh, Dayton's on his list. Gosh dang it, he's actually starting to put good teams on it. I'm gonna do some internet research and go and watch the game of Bobby Swanson. Because I want to see how bad he truly is. Because if he's really bad, we might not even bother offering him a scholarship. We're still number one on his list of schools. So hopefully that continues. But, um... We'll see. I don't know how good he, or how bad I should say he is. Gosh dang it. All of the power forwards we're interested in are one stars. Why did I do this to us? Why Why have I done this? Oh wait, I'm still on pipeline. What if we go... Oh, I've definitely learned a lot this year about how scouting should be done. Recruiting, that is. And uh, going forward, I feel like feel like I'll have, uh, you know, a uh, better better chant what going forward I feel like I'll have a better understanding on what players we realistically can get and you know not being William and Mary and trying to get Nathan Lee a freaking five star Tyson Glenn his distance from us will not be a factor in Tyson's decision okay that probably is a good thing but I don't know Ooh, we can invite him to a game uh, what game do we want to invite him to Mississippi State if we beat a ranked team while he's watching us that could be huge but we might want to do oh my god we play Iowa State Jesus Christ why did I pick this team why don't we just invite him to our next game uh, Toledo Rockets yeah let's do that it's probably a terrible idea but we've pretty much we have pretty much got him around the grips of our our fingers what are we choking him out or are we trying to recruit him Jesus Christ looking at the recruiting challenges we have yet to, uh, we have no current targets for a defensive, C defensive rated recruit, a C inside game, a C passing rated recruit. I feel like, so does that mean that Shivers isn't a C passing rated recruit? Isn't he like a passer scorer or something? Our focus still needs to be on getting a center and a, a small forward, however... We could use a power forward. We're losing Fearless next year, and I don't think we have anyone that really can replace him right now. Game is a junior. Jalen Keon is a freshman. Okay, so he might actually improve quite a bit. That could be something we pay attention to. Belch is a senior, so we're going to lose him. Boom. Boom is a junior. Okay. Interesting. Doesn't really have the same skill set as Fearless, but... Could be, could be an option. Also, while I'm here on this screen, I may as well just go ahead and do what I was going to do. I'm actually going to put Chicken in the starting lineup and see how that does. Because Weeks, 
Weeks has hit an open shot here and there, but has really struggled in the last few games. Moving Harvey back down to shooting guard, which is probably, you know, where he's better suited the past few games has have been a slight struggle for him at times when he's had to go against bigger defenders, so hopefully bringing him back down to shooting guard will help him out there. We are currently 1-0 at home. Well, that, that's good. So we're defending the home court in the one game we've played in there. Uh, oh, that was the Maryland game, wasn't it? Yeah, so we are defending our home court. We're 2-2 two and two on the road, which isn't great, but uh, we're, 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 a, we're a bad team, so, you know, we're getting there. Hey, our coach report card is finally a thumbs up. That's good. We've got two new recruiting messages. Hell yeah. Hey coach, we've heard some good things about S. Shepard. He's really interested in our program. We may want to pay him a visit. Who is S. Shepard? Sam Shepard. He's not interested in our goddamn program. He's interested in MVSU and Evansville, Eastern Tennessee. I don't even know what these schools are. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. He's, he's interested in Elon. I don't even think that's a school he's interested in. I think he just likes his ideas. Be gone, mate. <gasps> oh my gosh, T. Glenn on the scholarship. When I told my friend I had a chance to play for D. Best Senior and William and Mary, they said I was crazy not to jump all over them. And I think William and Mary is the right fit for me. So I guess I accept your scholarship offer and I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, coach. Yes! Our first verbal commitment of the series. And it's a guy we really wanted to get. He's terrible. I mean, you look at it. Outside, inside, passing. No, he's not very good, even though he's a passer scorer. But, uh... <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing having him on the team. Thank you very much, Tyson Glenn. I look forward to playing with you next year. I mean, hold on. Our head coach visit has yet to go through for Gary Shivers, but uh Oh god, Coastal Carolina. If you sign this guy in the next few days, I'm gonna be so pissed. We're gonna give Doug Reese the assistant coach phone call. And we're gonna go for coach strategy, I guess. Uh let's see if we can get him an unofficial school visit and then maybe offer him a scholarship, because we have scholarships to spare at this point. And he's uh, highly interested, and he's a two-star recruit, which is pretty good. We've also got a whole list of two-star small forwards that are actually interested in coming to William & Mary. Okay, maybe not that. Look at that, William & Mary is third on Noah Ramirez's list, and he's a 6'9 small forward. This is a guy that we want to get our hands on, but we don't have... Uh, maybe it just hasn't happened yet. I'm also going to offer Bruno Mayo a scholarship because doing any of these things is super expensive and we're second on his list so maybe, maybe there's a shot but it's not looking good for Bruno Mayo coming to us. And last but not least we're going to do internet research on Sam Shepard and send him the letter of interest and that's the points we're spending because we don't have that many left. We have 90, we still have 5 scholarships to give out. Whew, and we're not getting any of the big name players, so that means we gotta focus harder on the uh, lower level recruits. Also, apparently there's a feature called yearbooks, so uh, once the year is over, we can look at a yearbook of the players or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. So, taking a look at Toledo's roster, it's not that great, but it has some great names, so let's go over it. Um, at uh, starting center, you've got Solomon King uh, at starting power forward, who is a pretty decent score, uh, 22 points per game, that's great. Uh, Mar Mason Sanchez, starting small forward, you have Barry Curley, uh, starting shooting guard. Not a lot of three-point shooting on this team. Uh, Tay, Tay Gamey, who I think this is T.A. Games. Uh, we got Tommy Baby, at starting point guard. At backup center, you got Nikolaj Lundschult, which is a great name. You got P.J. Steele, uh, the brother of T.J. Steele in the uh, off the bench you got Nikita Arbuklevs Arbuklevs um Arbuklev uh you got Gwende Yune uh Abduli Cize Jacob Martin who may or may not have already been in the series I couldn't remember so I added him anyway uh, I almost added him twice because there was two comments uh you got Bobby Graham um off the bench you got some great names you got Julian Kenner you got Amere Can <laughs> or Amir Eichen, uh, and Marcus Jr. So, some, some great names on this team. Not a great roster, but some great freaking names. Alright, 
I gotta add uh, something real quick in the middle of this video, which is really annoying and really sucks. So uh, I went to uh, open up my audio file for uh, for the game that we're about to play, and apparently the project data folder doesn't exist. Could not open file. I guess if it would be anywhere, it'd be right here, and it's missing. And this was going to be a fun game as well, because this was the uh, consolation prize of not making it past the uh, second round of the, the tournament. We were going to play another team that lost, and we won, and that's why it's so annoying. And uh, I do have proof, I still have the footage of the game, but I don't have my audio for it. But I'll show you proof that we won, and then we'll move on to the next game. I mean, the video was already getting long anyway, so I guess maybe it's worked out for the best, but man, that's really stupid. Anyway, let's uh, let's continue on with the video. Whew. Arkansas State has some spicy names on it, my boy. At starting center, who's really a power forward, which is, means we're going to match up great with this team, uh, they've got Joel Seff, which I guess is like Joseph. Kind of. We got Travis Judd tied for their best player with three other guys. At 18 points per game, they have Chase Johnson, the starting small forward. He's a spicy boy. He's a freshman. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we don't have to play them very much. Frankie Francisco. He's on the starting lineup. He's a decent three-point shooter, about as good as Jay Harvey, which means he must be Steph Curry level. At 22 points per game. I just want to point that out. Justin Pond finishing up the starting lineup. Point guard. He's a senior, but he's 6'5". Alfred Pleasance coming off the uh, bench as their sixth man, who's very good, very good shooter. Brandon Moss, Jeffrey Desir, Dude, Manrod, this video is not getting monetized. Noah Underhill, Conrad Johnson the third. I know there's supposed to be an H in it, but I couldn't fit it and get the three. Dorella Shooter, uh, which is a great freaking name, by the way. Um, you got D Legend, somehow coming off the bench. Followed up by Humongous, the whitest boy on the planet. We're tied in offense with this team, but we're pretty much better at both other things. We're not pretty much. We are better at both other things. Overall, you know, you can make an argument, but uh, let's uh, let's let's let's, 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 let's get it out. We're continuing with the Chick Master in the starting lineup because he is an absolute mad lad. We're gonna go over to uh, three out, two in, considering Chicken can't shoot the ball to save his life. Hopefully that doesn't contest things too much, but uh, you know, we should be good. I'm actually gonna move the minutes up to 12 minutes per game. You know, we're slowly getting to, uh, you know, slightly more realistic games, but uh, yeah, that, sh that should be better. Convocation Center at Arkansas. At Arkansas State University is a multi-purpose home of the Arkansas State Red- I really want to say Air Kansas. Why is this one Kansas, but this one is not Air Arkansas? Kansas. America, explain! Arkansas State Red Wolves and seats over 10,500 fans for basketball games located in Jonesboro, Arkansas. God damn! So I am confused. The Tribe are off to a solid start right now, Dick. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. These guys aren't making headlines yet, Mr. Nestle. But a win here tonight could help shift the media focus their way. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. Hey, the starting five, just like a chain. It's only as strong as its weakest link. Let's see how this group plays together, Brad. All right, here we go. Arkansas State, let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Get that ball. Oh, Harvey has a wide open three straight away and can never make those. What the? F he never makes the uh, early game threes for whatever reason. Oh, Fearless with a great cut. Oof, didn't make it. That's good. But Fearless got a foul on him. Justin Pond. At the starting, uh, at the fucking free throw line. I know what basketball is, okay? And he makes both of them. Darnito. Oh, wow. That's, we don't usually turn the ball over. That sucks. Oh, man. Oh, no. We're playing against a team that takes as many threes as us and can make them. Great move by Chicken. Can't finish it. Oh, what a play. Jesus Christ. I'm taking it with Harvey. 
Nice. Oh, great defense. There you go, guys. Chicken helped out there. Trying to get it over to Harvey. Let's, let's get him going early. Oh, get the ball to Fearless, and he'll miss it. Damn it. Don't know why he faded away there. Good double team, but Pawn gets open. Harvey's open. Oh, man. Harvey, come on. Pawn again. Oh, we are so lucky there. Harvey's just going to take a three and can't hit any of them. It's early and we're already going to key on for the defense. We're going to put Chicken on Pond. Uh, and I guess Harvey on Johnson. Interesting. <sighs> this is going to be fun. Wanted Chicken to make a move, but he... Oh, my God. Oh, what a play. Yeah, we're taking a timeout. They are destroying us right now in all facets. What we need is we need better defense and we need better offensive movement. Come on, guys. Harvey's open. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Great defense there, though. Oh, come on, Keon. Block that. Nice. That's like the first mid-range jump shot I've ever taken with Harvey. Took it? Yep, nailed it. Couldn't finish off the defense. God damn it. Fearless is cold right now. Man, oh man. I think we do need a timeout. Another one already. There's nothing we can do here. We're unable to stop these guys and we're unable to score. They're just quicker and better than us. Alright, let's see what we can change. What the hell? Okay, here we go. Oh, there's no play here. Harvey got open for a split second. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we can't defend anything. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, there we go. We gotta play even better than that defensively. Come on, Harvey! Come on, Harvey! Get back on him, doofus. Alright, there we go. I just gotta verbally assault my players and they'll start playing well. Oh! Harvey! Nice. 10 point game. Get back out on him! Nice rebound. I'm not trusting anyone offensively. Oh. Had him open for a split second. Oh, he's wide open. Jesus Christ. They're taking a timeout. We're making a run. Making the game interesting at very least. Alright, Harvey's got 16 points. So we know who we're going to. Come on, good defense here, guys. He has not passed the ball yet. And he couldn't... There. Patton! Oh! What a great shot by... A grape shot? Get back on your guy, Patton. I don't know what their plan is here. They're going for... Come on, get that ball. Damn it. He got wide open. Ooh, he nearly made that as well. Damn it. I'm so bad. I suck so bad. Man, that's depression. Woo! Get out on him! Nice, Harvey. Harvey! No, Harvey! 
Gotta make that one. Come on, Harvey! Yes! Good. Four-point game. Jesus. Ooh, I wanted to take it. Fearless. What kind of defense is that? Yeah, with a shot like that, if he doesn't get fouled. Oh, fearless. Let's see if we can't sneak Patton open. Hey! Need great defense on this play. And that's literally the opposite. And boom, just lets him score. Just, just lets him score because why would we even want to defend? You can see Harvey in the background there. At least <laughs> he tried. Estrada to the rim. Yes. Five point game. Don't let them score here. Do not score. Oh. All right. At the end of the first half, the Red Wolves are ahead by five. William and Mary is just getting punished in the rebounding department, Dick. Hey, Brad, how many times have we heard that if you want to win basketball games, you have to control the glass? These guys know that. They better start getting the job done. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's... This makes me so happy. Oh my god, Patton. No! No! Just pull up for mid-range. Nice, tie game. Come on, get that! Oh. No! No! Oh, Estrada. Oh, boom. Thank you. Good pass. Good pass. I don't know how he made that, but good pass. No way. No f- Off! Oh! Jesus. Turn the ball over! Who is that out on? It's probably theirs. Yeah. That is just unfair. God damn it. Beautiful. Come on, man. These, this team is insanely good. On your man. I'm so done. Well, you can't really take Boom out of the lineup because we need the rebounding. So we're kind of, we're kind of. Oh god, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a. T oh god. All right, let's go. They're clapping and stuff. Score here, please. Fucking Harvey. You tease. Don't you fucking dare. You son of a biscuit. Oh! Patton down the hatches, everybody. He's on fire. Oh, I want that shot. Give me that shot. Give me that! Um... Mm, ye dab, I'm a crab. We have a lead, everybody! About seven minutes left and we have a lead. Oh my god, what a stressful game this one's been. Harvey is just absolutely balling out right now. We need to keep going to him. Oh, could that be another steal? And it's a foul. Oh, it's a backcourt! It's a backcourt! Oh. Oh. Harvey to the rim! Wait, that was a charge. 
God damn it. And he threw it out. Let's go. Let's go. I don't trust Boom at all. But well, Harvey's open. He got it. Four point game. This guy needs to break off. Oh. Boom got it. And Boom made it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, great defense. And Harvey, come on, foul him. Fucking foul me. Oh. Come on, I'm not letting you score here, you son of a bitch. God damn it. Foul! It's a foul! Ref! Give me the call! Oh, that was nearly a steal. No! I'm not gonna risk them not calling the foul again. Probably need a timeout here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boom, 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 boom! No, not again! They did it again! And it is a foul. Oh, we nearly made it as well. Boom. Five point game. Four minutes left. Boom! Six point game! Fearless has completely been taken out of the game. And they could totally come back here. We gotta play great defense here. Come on. Oh, damn! That's such a bad shot, but he made it anyway. Tonight at 9, 19 year old has mental breakdown playing a video game. Off! Well, sh. Well, here we go. Oh my god. Harvey! Get the ball to Harvey! Get the ball to Harvey! <laughs> I can't even lie, this is hilarious. <laughs> I get so angry. What the heck is wrong with me? Get that ball! Defense! 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 Patton, please. Somebody. I'm getting you open looks, just freaking make them! Oh my god. Estrada to the rim, plank. Plank you, Estrada. Yep, plank you. Fucking hell, Estrada, get the fuck up the floor, you fucking bitch. Nope, I'm not shooting it with Patton. Fuck it, Harvey's open. And he missed it. Come on, charge! Give me the ball! Give me the ball! Give me the ball. He's wide open. Play some defense. Give me the ball! I said, give me the ball! I said, give me the ball! Oh. Fuck off. Oh. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Give it to us. Give it to us. Come on. Yes! Oh, what a terrible pass. Oh, they're double teaming Harvey. Don't shoot that! What are you doing, Fearless? I passed! I clicked the pass button. Are you fucking kidding me? That is so bullshit. Oh my god. We have gotten so lucky here. Harvey, please. Harvey. Harvey. Such a bad shot by me. Foul. Foul. Oh, fuck me. That's so annoying. Foul! Foul! Why does it take him like 10 minutes? Come on, miss one of these, please. Uh. I don't know why I took a timeout there. It's not like it's going to give us any advantage. Besides running, calling a play. Oh my god. I'm going to let you guess what happens next. 
God damn it. Is there, is there even a point? Is there even a point? I may as well, but is there even a point? He missed it. F Why did we go for the, for the roof? Well, before we go any further, let's see who came in as our players of the game today. Only one will walk away with the win, but both. So a lot of a lot of bad plays, a lot of mistakes in this game, but one thing we can take away is Harvey did come up, you know, well actually no, he didn't come up clutch because he missed a lot of threes. I I other than the obvious flaws, Boom came in and had a great game off the bench. We played him for most of the second half, if not all of it. Estrada, Fearless, I mean everyone, everyone struggled. But we also showed a lot of heart. We came all the way back. And in the end, we had a chance to win it, and we just we just couldn't pull it out. So, good game overall. Weeks weeks can suck my pleasant streak where he hit those like two contested threes. My God, my blood was boiling so much. I wanted to like jump into like if I was the coach, I would have ran onto the court and beat the crap out of that guy. Ooh, dude, Manrod actually got some minutes. How about that? Four and three on the season, I think. Uh, no, that was not a conference game. Thank God. Uh, but, uh, okay, so next we have Ohio State. The games are just getting harder and harder as they go. But, uh, we, 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 we gotta try to win it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, post your comments down below. Try to get in the, uh, the series. Um, and yeah, I, I, uh, I hope you're enjoying. I guess I should say this. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I, I noticed recently in the stats that, uh, like 77% of the people that have been watching the videos recently aren't subscribed. So that's a staggering stat. So I guess I should start saying it maybe at the end of videos. Maybe people are just forgetting <laughs> to click the button. Oh, click the bell as well. Uh, and go to hell. Um, that's not what I should say, but it rhymes, so why not. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep me on. I hope this was a longer episode. hope it was a good one. hope you enjoyed it. hope we win the next game. Hope we. Hopefully we stay above 500. Bye.